Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Aya, and... This is another Kaden Life Q&A. Yay. Right, so, you know in our Minecraft videos, you you get my viewpoint in one corner, and then your viewpoint taking up the entire screen? How do we do that? Okay, that uh, feature is called uh, Picture in Picture, or it was called that in, in the old days with TV. Uh, and, and you can imagine you can use that same thing for a face cam. It's pulling some video here from an older project. And we're gonna need some titles, so I'm, I'm just gonna bring in our normal titles. And then some video. Let's pick this one here. Play with Gavin. Yeah. Wow. Less from the past, right? Yeah, 13. Uh, what's, what shall we grab here? Okay, let's pick these two. So we're gonna need an extra video track for this. So let's insert that, right click there, insert track, okay there, now we got four. Now we're not going to do the typical, we normally have the voice track down here, we're not going to do this in this exercise. The first thing we need to cover is just how video tracks are stacked in Kaden Life. Let me, let me just show you what I mean. So I'm going to pick this one, let's just see, this is Aiden's one. This is our main one, I'm going to put this one at the bottom. This will be our background. And this is mine. And I just know from looking at the hot bar. Yeah, because I put my sword in slot one and he puts his sword in slot two for some weird reason. And let's just let's uh, put everything on the screen like that so we can do this easily. I'm just going to get rid of these transitions for now because I want to show you guys something. Let's stagger that and items on here. And I'm going to need to zoom in here to be able to just grab it. Let's delete that. And I want to start this over here. So we're making a staircase of video clips. Yeah, just to explain how this works. Okay, let's zoom in there again. You gotta understand that the bottom one, the video in track number four in this case, is the one furthest away from us. It's the one in the background. The one just above it will hide it. See there? There Aiden's video is still visible, but as soon as you cross that left edge, the, the title clip takes over. Same here. Now you see my video, and it hides everything below it. These two are, are hidden now. And again, if you get to this point, this one hides everything below it. Okay, so we're gonna use that concept to to make this work for us. Uh, so we basically want to create a little picture here with let's say my viewpoint and in the background we want to see Aiden's viewpoint. Let's first make these two title clips co collapse onto the clips below them. So we want to make a composite here, transition, and same here in this one you see I just click that left little corner to make that green triangle and I just drag this over composite again now we basically only have two clips because these transitions here makes this title part of this clip right below it you see with track auto the setting is with track order there and with track order there, so that means it grabs the first one below it and 
sort of merges with it. Now you'll see there's Aiden's video with the title track there. And here you'll see just that's viewpoint and the title track there. Okay. Let's get everything on screen and drag these over. And we wanna finish this nicely here, yeah, make it all the same length. Just like that. Okay, the second biggest job is to sync these clips. Now we can try doing this with a built-in function by right-clicking and, and set audio reference to one clip and then right-click the other one and pick a line audio to reference there. And you'll see here it says processing audio, please wait. So this could take a while. These, these clips are 10 minutes long, they're roughly a gig in size each. Yeah, recording takes up a lot of space. And it's already done that, so let's put this here. You'll see it's moved the bottom clip. It's actually cut a piece off in the front, so I don't know what it aligned to here. Uh, but this is too much. The way I can tell is there's only 15 seconds between these the stars of these videos, you see the timestamp right here in the title. Uh, this is the way Bandicam does it. And this distance, if you look at the bottom right corner there, you see the time, 8.40, 8 minutes 40, and that one is 10 minutes. So these are two minutes different already. So this is not right. This can't possibly be right. So let's drag this one back. You're free to try that first. Maybe it works for you if you've got shorter clips or something. I don't know. Um, but in this case it doesn't seem to work. So your first thing to do is to f try and find a spot where both characters are together. And the reason for that is we're looking for sounds that happen at the same time. And in Minecraft it's pretty easy. There's always chopping. Um, or explosions or s some fighting or something. And you know it's really useful is if at the beginning of the video you get everybody together and you place down a torch or you destroy a torch because that just makes this much easier. Yeah. And it's gonna join here soon because we built this little up. You remember this in? Mm. There he is. Right? Okay so... Splash in the water. Problem solved. So now what I do is I just use this zoning tool to to mark that spot. So this is on the top video. Now let's take the top video. Let's just hide it for a moment so we can see Aiden's video. We want to find this roughly the same spot. So let's see. How much is this difference here? So 32. This should be. I'm just going to first go by this timestamp, this 15 second difference here. So this should be at roughly 15, that is where it is. So with that in mind, let's look around here and see if Aiden is by us now. Yep, so this is getting close. So let's just drag this one over to roughly there. See, I'm, I'm using my zone mark up there. So right there is where Aiden jumps in the border. Okay, let's look for that in Aiden's video. Maybe a little back here. Right there is where he jumps in the water. Okay, so this needs to be roughly there. Let's zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> now, now you can see. 
See, these marks look the same here on the audio thumbnails. And zooming in is good here because you want to get them as close as possible. And you can just use a play line to line them up because they must happen at exactly the same time or as close as you can get them. You see they drift a little depending on how close the character is to the sound as well. So you must pick one that's more or less the same everywhere. So let's enable everything again and just play the sounds here from there and listen for duplicate sounds. That's not perfect but that gives you the idea of what, what to do.